Thank you, Annette, guys. Here we go. One of my all-time favourites years ago. You could buy these in a lot of bottle shops over Melbourne up until about three years ago. But, oh, probably four years ago, they started getting a bit scarce. Uh, I found them again the other day, so I grabbed some. I grabbed seven of them, actually. Stevie and I knocked off four each, or two each last night. I had one with my daughter when I got home, and she thought it was absolutely delicious. Look at the colour of that. The head. It's just the awesome, isn't it? Looks fantastic. That's a good beer, I tell you. X3 IPA. Look, um, a lot of companies do double IPAs at 7.2. But in my book, it's a bit of a grey area. So, extra IPA, that's a beauty. So sort of, It's sort of like, you think about it, how many extra IPAs are out there? You don't hear of it, really. Mmm. Tell you what, guys, it's malty. It's rich. 7.2 percent. That's like perfect for a cold afternoon. It's about eight degrees here. Yeah, typical Melbourne winter day. Freezing cold wind straight from Antarctica. That's always handy. Got the cooker bar up here, looking for a feed. Hello, cook. Yeah, you, you hungry? Mm. That is so bloody delicious. You're kidding. Look out for it, guys. Creamy, rich, malty. If I lived in the States, that would probably be my go-to beer. There's a few good ones there, though. They've got some cracking beers. That one I had last night with Stevie, that was a cracker. Yeah, fantastic. Alright oh, guys, I'll show you the kookaburra. He's up here. Oh, he's looking for a feed off me or off the ground. Doesn't really matter. But he's... I feed, hand feed him all the time. So that's our... Little garden down here that's looking alright. I've got to get the neighbours to fucking. Well, they just did all new fences. Hello, mate. Oh, you're all burnt down here now. We've got three. That one over there is the baby. That's the new one. Got the dark on the top of the head. These ones are the, the old ones. They've been coming here for probably three years. Come on, Nikki. Come on. Good girl. And there's the uh, potatoes. They're going well. The garlic's going pretty well. It's always nice. I cleaned up across the shed here the other day and put the shelves up. But that looks a lot better. And, yeah, I've got a bit of beef in there I can give to the flying guinea pigs, we call them. So that's got a new leaf there, that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the um, new garden down here, got a bit of colour. It's looking alright, kicking on. Alright, cheers guys. I'd better get some feed for the little cookers. Cheers.